And, um, and, what, what she says. and I, I just, I made up a very special list of the rules of steampunk so we'll all know how to do it right. <laughs> and so, and I'm very careful. So, so is that true on the copy? And she goes, oh no, I've got more. And I said, good, I want to be symbolic and not, you know. And I stood up and I said, these are the rules of steampunk. That's a tough thing to uh, advance one person. Yeah. Say, Isn't the essence of anything setting, about setting the rules, rules for everyone? Well, the heart of the whole thing of steampunk is, yeah, let's, let's break all the rules. Yeah. Test yeah. <laughs> Let's take Victoriana with, and it's like, there is no lower class in the SCA. You know, <laughs> let's take Victorian, the Victorian era and forget all the bad parts. And oh, we love the bedroom parts, so we'll bring those in too. <laughs> And more steampunk, more, 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 more steam, more steam, more steam. The way I explain it to people who don't have any clue is, it's one of, it, it's, it's what would have happened if Geiger had won the war. Ooh, yeah, it'd be more interesting. I saw a lady with wings and gears yesterday. It's really nice. Yeah. It's very wings and gears. I, and I love what's coming out because there aren't any rules, and so people can mash whatever they want together. And out of it have thrown things like diesel pong, <laughs> um, garbage pong. Uh, Solar pump is, is coming, it's up and coming. I love some solar pump. And I'm just loving it all because I'm a time traveler. I will costume any period people will pay me to. My, um, I'm Middle Eastern in my background, and my next hope is to create, you know, um, just not a specific, but um, I'm really interested in this Arab punk, or we have a hard time figuring out what we're going to call it, but it's based on. Middle Eastern uh, response to European co European steampunk, mm -hmm. like in, in a participatory fashion, of course. Yes. Like, yeah. Let's jump in, you know, and uh, I think that uh, Af you know Afrofuturism definitely is uh, is stick, uh, sticking their their flag in the dirt, you know, and showing okay, this is what Afrofuturism looks like, which is the same idea, kind of is like. Mm -hmm. Bringing culture into your idea of technology and imagination. Yeah, which I, I totally love. So yeah. I, I, I like Arab punk. It's got a nice, because it's got to have a good grab name to it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And Arab is an okay word. It's not a, yeah. it's not a direct it's not word. A good People are afraid to say Arab. Arab is, good, uh, is a good word. Yeah, and it helps to reclaim the word, too. Yeah. To use well, something like that. It is, it's, that's what we call ourselves. Yeah. yeah. That is the name for Arab. <laughs> So I like that. So yeah, yeah. so keep let's keep in touch because I'd love to do cool. anything I can to help promote that. Like I'm really you know, I've been doing prize. Because the thing I love about solar pump is that the costuming is based on Urte. So right. I'm just like, oh my god, I love you know er <laughs> what Urte could do with a piece of fabric, I wish I could do with a real piece of fabric. But it's the imagination to get this going. Which is also a really good segue into this whole thing because <laughs> superhero costumes, oh my god. I'm Nightwing. I know as little as I have to about superhero costuming. Okay, someone who draws them and makes, makes them. them. Someone who makes them, and I'm going to let him do a lot of talking because he's got examples and everything else. I, on the other hand, do things like, Mercy, please, why? Why did you do that? Why do I have to create this costume for this girl so when she takes a breath, it's going to fall off? Breathe really shallow. <laughs> Hold your head. Yes. So, should we introduce ourselves? My name is Mercy Van Black. I'm a fan of the Legion of Superheroes. Oh, I'm informed of my life. Ken and I are celebrating our 25th anniversary. 35th. I can't get over 35th anniversary. We met through Legion fandom. This is our anniversary today, so it's a good place to be for an anniversary at the con. And I have made a lot of Legionnaire costumes. Batgirl, several Supergirls. Um, I never did um, uh, Shadow Last because you have to paint yourself blue. But Anyway, that's why I'm here. I've made a lot of costumes. And drama. Okay, speaking of costumes. Uh, Basil El Hawagi, my project is called Fine Art Superheroes. Um, I'm an artist form foremost, interested in kind of in contemporary art, creating uh, wearable artwork uh, and photography and live performances. Uh, and I kind of have an agenda that I think um, uh, artists who create costumes should be creating new, the new superheroes. And uh, in response to the fact that uh, Disney, Marvel, and Warner Brothers will not create uh, new superheroes for our time, so we, the sort of direct creators, should create those superheroes and use um, the variety of media we have access to to uh, popularize them. So tell us more. 
Uh, well, by, super, <laughs> no, by superheroes, I just yeah, mean no, the characters. The reason I'm jumping at these yeah. is because I like where you're, the direction you're going with that, about the idea of let's create new superheroes yeah. under our time. And you have a lot of cool examples. So I'm just going to let you roam for about five minutes or so. Okay. All right. Um, I, I'm happy to get up and, and show people my suits. Um, uh, but there's a larger conversation about how do you create ideas. And how, or how do you create, how do you turn your ideas into work? Uh, so I work with patterns a lot. Uh, patterns that I create, of course, or patterns that I uh, choose. Um, and I'm interested in the idea that a pattern can become an identity when it's superimposed with the body. Uh, each different pattern has a different signature, a different wavelength, a different emotional mood, especially uh, when you play with the color and the entanglement. Um, and a lot of patterns have cultural roots uh, that um, I have access to, or a lot of the patterns are, uh, some are neutral, um, but one is actually a Haitian uh, vive pattern, and I was working with a cultural partner for that one, uh, so in that sense it's not really cultural appropriation because I'm working in tandem with uh, an organization from the culture uh, in a... Which suit was that? Uh, so that's the black one with silvery, purple, uh, spiral patterns. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and the other, a lot of them come from my own background, uh, my own Middle Eastern background. I, I elect and borrow and uh, take a lot from uh, Middle Eastern patterns uh, that you find in architecture or in calligraphy. Uh, the black and white one is Arabic calligraphy. Um, but there's only one word. It's the word uh, no in Arabic, uh, represented in this sort of upside-down ribbon-like uh, design. Uh, and uh, it's an avatar for protest, so each one of my suits is an avatar for a theme or idea. Um, and uh, a character, I think that we should create new characters, uh, and we should create them by creating the costumes and wearing them and being seen in them, kind of like in a real-life uh, a real life perform performative event uh, or a series of real life performative events. Yes? Um, the, the complexity of the design seems like they're oriented toward movies and not towards the printed page. Mm. They'd be very, very, very hard to draw. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, and a, an artist, a comic book artist, would have to draw all of those designs from every imaginable angle, doing every imaginable thing. Perez right. would do it. Um, <laughs> Perez. I think he's would find a shortcut. So I'm I'm wondering uh, that I know that computers can do a whole lot with re repetition. Yeah. So I'm wondering if these could be drawn using a computer, so you only have to draw it once, so let the computer do the angles and, and the emotions. Okay, so uh, there's kind of like a few questions folded into what you asked, which yeah. is when could computers um, kind of make uh, the job of the artist easier? The answer is probably yes. Uh, two, um, naturally if the pattern was somehow 3D animated, that, would, that, could, uh, in, that could ease the artist's job infinitely. Um, a lot of a lot of Japanese artists, a lot of artists, um, wouldn't have as much trouble once they get used to it as one might think, because uh, they're highly skilled uh, in their own sense, and they're used to drawing a huge level of detail, a huge level of complexity, and repetitively. Um, but the final thing is that I think. For the agenda of creating new super, new characters that represent um, our values and our struggles in the 21st century, we may need to bypass the comic book genre. Do you know what I mean? You may need to uh, create stories through film, through video, through a succession of social media posts, through new media, because most most of our big comic book ha publishing houses. Are owned by DC and Marvel, uh, D Marvel and uh, Warner Brothers, and they're most concerned with retrofitting their uh, characters from the 